Many thanks to Joe Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Black Knight, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. Cooking has become much more useful in Daisy 1.17 due to the addition of the cooking stand, and you no longer need water or fat to cook food, but cooking equipment will now take damage over time, and gas stoves got a major nerf when it comes to cooking. So in this video, we're going to look at all of what's changed and compare the new items to similar items in Daisy. The first big change to cooking this patch is the addition of the cooking stand which you can craft very easily with just two wooden sticks and a long wooden stick which means you don't need any tools at all to create this. This new stand acts exactly the same as a tripod does so you can hang a cooking pot or a cauldron from it to cook, allowing players to cook more freely in the wilderness instead of relying on high traffic area indoor fireplaces. <coughs> Apart from being able to deconstruct the cooking stand into five sticks, there are only three differences between the tripod we already have in the game and the new cooking stand. First, the new cooking stand is two slots longer in your inventory, which means you're going to struggle to fit it into some clothing pieces compared to the tripod at six slots, both of which cannot fit in a shoulder slot. Second, you can suicide with the tripod, but not the cooking stand. And third, but most importantly, the tripod has more than three times the durability that the cooking stand has. Durability is now paramount when it comes to cooking in 1.17 and beyond I guess because nearly all items you cook with degrade during the cooking process, even the food in some cases. Regarding the cooking stand and the tripod's durability, they lose 0.125 durability per second while over a fireplace and the fireplace has to be lit for it to lose durability, so the stand with 150 durability goes from pristine to ruined in 20 minutes, where the tripod with 500 durability becomes ruined in 66 minutes of use. The cooking pot, cauldron and the frying pan all have the exact same durability at 200 and all also lose the durability at the same speed that the tripod and the cooking stand do too, 0.125 per second. This means that all three of these last 26 minutes from pristine to ruined regardless if you're cooking or not. So if you attach any of these three to a fireplace that is lit it will degrade at 0.125 durability per second with no way to repair any of these and I did double check this time using every method I could imagine, even tools. This is also the case when cooking with any other fireplace in Daisy. If the fire is lit, durability will go down by 0.125 a second and it's the same rate across all cooking methods, even the gas stove. However, the gas containers and the gas stove top do not become damaged over time and nor does the stone oven fireplace or the fire barrel. Like in 1.16, the sharpened stick takes damage from cooking over a fireplace, allowing you to cook 8 items of food per stick, but in 1.17, it now takes damage at half the speed, which means you can cook twice as much in 1.17 at 16 cooks per stick. Finally, for durability, and probably the biggest change to cooking this patch, is how the food you cook without water or large loses nutrients, because in this patch, food will no longer go straight to burnt when you don't use water or fat. The punishment for doing so is nutrient loss on the food that you cook. For example, an apple will lose 20% of its nutritional value once it becomes baked, where a piece of pig steak loses just 10%. It depends on the durability of the item, which may not seem like a big punishment for baked food, but just 15 seconds seconds after it's baked, it will become burned, so you have to be very quick at removing the food once it becomes cooked. The biggest change to cooking times in this patch goes to the differences between the gas stove and the fireplace now, which used to have the exact same cooking times in 1.16. In 1.16 you couldn't cook food without water or fat, but now that you can, you can cook it in 30 seconds with the three different types of container, where with the gas stove it takes 2 minutes compared, so it's 4 times longer. Cooking water took 1 minute in patch 1.16, now it takes 75 seconds with any of the fireplaces and a chunky 5 minutes with the gas stove, again 4 times longer. And finally, cooking with fat in 1.16 took 1 minute and is still 1 minute in 1.17, but with the gas stove, if you've noticed the pattern already, 4 times longer than 1 minute is 4 minutes. This is a big nerf for the gas stove because people like the gas stove and usually pick up these canisters in preparation for getting a gas stove, of which you will now use a lot more gas in this patch. But the huge problem with the gas stove is now, cooking pots are a god tier item and you will destroy them four times faster with a gas stove rather than using a fireplace. With all of these changes comes a kitchen timer that works very differently from the alarm clock we got last patch. With the kitchen timer you twist the top and it immediately counts down and will alarm for one minute like the alarm clock does. 
This means it can be used in conjunction with the gas stove's slow cooking times to alert you when the 5 minutes to boil a piece of meat has ended, but of course you can use it for other mechanics too, such as reminding you when to check for diseases on plants that you're growing, or reminding you that you should like this video. With the kitchen timer came changes to the radius that the alarm clock can distract infected from, and now it's about 35 meters and will sound louder to players further away too, but again, this is a very short distance. Stat wise, the kitchen timer distracts infected at the same distance, but unlike the alarm clock, is fixed to real life time, not server time, which is a good thing because cooking times are also based on real time too, so server time acceleration won't impact the kitchen timer. At distracting infected or players, the kitchen timer is far easier and faster to set, making the alarm clock a bit redundant given the inventory size too, but it still does have its uses. To conclude this video, I discovered a whole bunch of stuff about cooking while testing, so here it all is. In 1.16, rain and water would extinguish fire very quickly, but in 1.17, fireplaces don't go out in the rain if they've been active for a while, and the extinguish option you can use on fireplaces is much, much slower in this patch and produces a lot of smoke. A hot cooking pot won't continue to take durability damage while it's off of a fireplace or a gas stove. The frying pan and the cooking pot cook at the exact same speeds. And finally, what you choose to cook doesn't degrade durability faster and nor does cooking with water, fat or nothing at all. Now with these cooking changes comes a whole load of changes to temperature and how you can warm up in this patch too. So if you want to learn all of the new ways that you can keep warm in Daisy this patch, here's a video just for that. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.